Alright, so the new version of MIUI, which is the MIUI 14, based on Android 13, has been under development for quite some time. And that's what this video is all about. We installed the MIUI 14 on the Xiaomi 12 Pro just to see every little thing that has changed. And by that, I mean every small detail, which might make your experience better or a little worse. So without wasting any time, this is Goran, you're watching Guide in Tech. Let's get started. All right, so right off the bat, the first thing that you will notice is just how smooth and responsive and snappy MIUI 14 feels when you compare it to MIUI 30. So if you see me swiping through the menus, opening the control center, opening the notification shade, going through between them, you will see that there is a little bit of a smoothness or a snappiness, whatever you may call it. You feel that instantly. Plus a lot of the animations here that you will feel when it comes to the system icons, they have been further refined. Everything has a bit of a smoothness added onto it. So everything feels a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more responsive and just smoothened out when it comes to the edges. Now, if we want to compare every little element when it comes to the UI changes or any specific change that we can straight away show you, let's start off with everything that you will see on the home screen. And now if I were to tap and hold on any of the icons that I have, like maybe a system icon first, the contextual menu shows this edit icon button. If I were to tap on it, I can change the shape. I can change the dimensions of this particular icon. I can resize it to two by one, one by two, or two by two, which is a massive icon, which will have to find some space on the home screen itself. Plus from the theme store, we can basically get a few more options when it comes to the icon choices here which are directly available under the edit icon section on the contextual menu. As you will see from the get go on the home screen itself, if I were to make a folder here, I can move it, but there is no contextual menu here. But at the same time, if I tap and hold here, then the contextual menu shows up with the edit folder button. This basically helps you change the entire size of the folder itself, the way it will appear on the home screen. So I can enlarge it or make it the regular size. Enlarging it basically enables you to have three icons, which can be just accessed as soon as you tap on it. Or if you want to see all of the icons in the folder, you just have to tap on these little icons here and the entire collection of the different icons will open up in the folder itself. And now if I were to just pinch out to edit the home screen, you will see that everything looks the same. Now let's just go about trying to change the wallpaper first. As you will see here in MIUI 13, the theme store opened. But here we have a separate and a new wallpaper menu where you can just choose any of the system wallpapers which are available, or you can just go about into your gallery and select a wallpaper yourself. One of the most special things that you get when it comes to MIUI wallpapers is the super wallpapers. Now you have snowy peaks, which looks a little bit like this. From the always on display, it will look like this. If I were to go to the lock screen, it'll look like this. And once we unlock the phone, it'll look like this, which is pretty nice looking to be honest, because yeah, this looks really, really clean. Now, if I were to apply it, I can apply it from right, right from this menu. And there are other options as well, like geometry, where the wallpaper looks a little bit different in each of the three modes, be it AOD, be it the lock screen, be it the home screen. Similarly, if I were to not go into such complications and I just want a simple simple wallpaper. I can just go about and select any of the wallpapers given here, which look a lot better than what you might find in this endless MIUI theme store that earlier used to be the only option that you had when it comes to changing wallpapers. Now, if you want to access the theme store, you can just go about and press the find more button and you'll see the new theme store. Now, when it comes to the lock screen itself, we used to have the shortcut to a camera and we used to have a very useless shortcut that nobody uses because it just takes us to the bloatware glance. Now on MIUI 14, all I need to do is just swipe over and now the shortcuts are pretty much useful. You can access contacts, calendar, calculator, notes, amongst other things. Apart from that, if you want to just go about and turn on the torch, you can do that as well right from this button. And it's also not just limited to accessing those specific shortcuts. You can go about into the settings, go to 
the lock screen settings. Then you go to side panel shortcuts. And from here, you can reorder these apps or just go about and add a few apps of your own. Now, another important aspect about using your phone is accessing the notification. And here we don't see many changes. If I were to just access the notification panel here, everything's pretty much the same, except you get the weather information right here. But if I were to swipe over here, you always have a music player right on the control center itself, along with the Mi Smart Hub, which might stay, which might not stay with the final version. Now on UI 14, if you were to go to the last page of the control center, you will see this incognito button. If you activate it, what it does is, it is suspending the microphone, camera, and location-related permissions for all of the apps, be it the system apps or the apps that you have installed on the phone. So if I were to just now open the camera, the access to the camera is disabled, be it from the system camera app. Now let's move on to seeing all of the changes on different default apps. Now, if you were to open the camera, the first change that you will see here is, first of all, you get a direct access to Google Lens inside the camera itself, which was not available before. And if I were to move on to the clock app, not many changes, but a few more quality of life improvements available in this new app. Now, if I were to go to the three dot icon here, on the MIUI 13 device, it just it just shows the settings option. But if I were to do the same here, we see the manage bedtime option and the morning report. This is just a new addition, which basically if you were to go to the morning reports, any alarm that is ringing from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. will also show the weather info for the day. So you'll just get to know about the weather of the particular day as soon as you snooze off your alarm. Now, if you were to go to manage bedtime here, we basically are enabling a setting where if we select a particular time, which is our supposed bedtime, we'll get a reminder, which is 15 minutes before this particular time that we select, which will remind us to get ready for bed. Simple as that. Now, if you were to go to the downloads app, if you were to go to settings, here we will see that we can basically put in a limit of the data that can be downloaded when you're using your data services, not your Wi-Fi, but your 4G or 5G, whichever you prefer to use. Apart from this, you can also go by, go ahead and change the default locations where all of the downloads will be saved on your device. Now, if you were to go to this three dot icon again, you will see a new download option that was not available on MIUI 13. But if you basically press here, and if we, we just need to copy a link, a magnet link or an FTP link or an HTTP link, and select it and the download will automatically start from the download manager itself. Now let's switch over to the file manager, which has been turned into files app. Here, everything is pretty much different from what it used to be. The menus have been simplified into just the names of these menus rather than having a different icon, which is a bit easier to understand. Now, this categorization, which is right there at the top of the app, has been removed from the recent menu to the storage menu, to the storage tab, and you will see all the classifications. The classifications might not be as dense as they are on MIUI 13, but they're pretty simple and very easy to understand and access. Plus, the hamburger menu that used to be here is not available anymore. These options have been switched over to the three dot icon right here where we will see the connect to computer option, the storage option, the cleanup option, or the main drive option. But one thing that is missing is that the deep clean options and the private files option have been removed for some reason and are not accessible anywhere if you were to look for them here. Now, going back to the app drawer, we have gallery, which again has a few small changes. First of all, we used to have two different tabs, but now we have an additional tab, which is the recommended tab. Here, from what is visible, uh, that the pictures that have been clicked in the past will show up as memories, very similar to how it works on Google Photos. Along with that, you'll also get to see the exact picture that you clicked one year from now, two, from, two years from now, on the date when you open this app. Plus, there are a few editing options as well, where you can create content out of the gallery app, where you can create a collage or access the video editor to combine a few videos and a few photos to create something out of them. Plus, there are additional editing options like creating an ID out of a picture or a cutout or creating or adding an artful background behind a person in a picture. 
along with adding a few video effects to the videos that you already have on the phone. Now again, even if all these tools are available, they're not usable right now because even if I open the, one of these tools and try to edit something, it does not usually work. It just crashes and then we get back to the same menu. Now let's go ahead and get to the scanner app where we will see the further few changes. Now here, earlier on MIUI 13, we could just scan the QR code, but on MIUI 14, we have an additional option where we can scan documents from this app. We can select a single page and then scan it or scan multiple pages and then merge them into a single PDF. Now the next app on the list with the changes is the security app, which has a different layout and a few different tools which were not available on MIUI 13. First of all, everything looks the same. This carousel option has been removed. We don't get that anymore. And while there were limited options available right here at the bottom of the, of the app, of the page itself. But on MIUI 14, if you were to just swipe after reaching the bottom of the app, we get the access to the toolbox where, are, there, where there are different options that we can use, be it test network, solve problem, secure share, second space, all of these options are still here, but a few additional options can be observed. Additional set, security settings can be directly accessed from the security app. And the final default app, which has a few changes in UI and other improvements is the theme store. Now, if you were to go to themes, the first thing that you notice is this UI is pretty much cluttered. It is confusing to get access to a different thing that you're looking for, be it a wallpaper, be it a ringtone, be it a theme as a whole. But here things are much simpler, as you can see. There are different tabs, for themes, wallpapers, dynamic wallpapers, ringtones, fonts, and so on. While here, the bottom tab and everything else on the entire app is a little bit confusing and just not something that a person can understand from the get-go. Let's move on to the changes that we can see in the settings app. The home screen, wallpapers, and all, everything has been shifted a little bit. This basically means that the wallpaper and themes Customizations that were available on the settings app in MIUI 13 have been combined into a single option, which is right here. Sort of a one-stop shop for everything that you might want to change with your home screen, with your AOD, with your lock screen, with your icons, and things like fingerprint scanner animation, effects that show up whenever a notification shows up, the font, ringtones, basically personalizing your phone to everything can be done from one menu in the settings app. Now, if you were to go to the always on display and lock screen settings, here there are a few changes which are improvements. If you were to go to always on display, here we can select different styles of AODs, but the one thing to note here is that even though the styles are the same, we have an additional thing that will show up on the always on display, which is your daily step count. If I were to enable this, the phone will be able to track all of the steps through the pedometer that you have taken during the day and they will be displayed right on the AOD itself. If I were to apply it and I'll be here for a little bit, it does show me that I've walked 63 steps today. Now let's just go back and we see that another option that has been added is this toggle, which is use app icons for notifications. This will basically show the app icons for the different notifications from different apps right onto the always on display, which is handy because then you basically get to know which app notification do you have. And another toggle that you will see in the AOD settings is that you can basically turn AOD off as soon as the phone detects that it is in a dark area for a few minutes. Now, the one thing that you might have noticed on the home screen itself is that there is a search bar, a Google search bar below the dock right here on the home screen. This is a new setting that can be enabled on MIUI 14, which is pretty handy because then you have a quick access to a search bar which can search across your phone or just search the internet for whatever you type in the search bar itself. An additional toggle that has been added to the home screen setting is where you can just double tap anywhere on the home screen to lock it. So if I were to just enable this toggle right here, which is not available on MIUI 13, if I were to enable it and then just double tap here, it'll just lock the phone. Another thing that you can also enable here is if you were to go to system navigation. Another toggle that has been added is swipe up from the corner to access Google Assistant. This is nothing but basically an, a toggle if I were to enable it and swipe here 
I can basically directly talk to Google Assistant, which was not available on MIUI 13, but now will be available with MIUI 14. Now, if you were to talk about the lock screen settings, here we can change the charging animation, which was not available with MIUI 13. There are three different animations, Flow, Glow, and Wig. Now, another great toggle that has been added to MIUI 14 is the power menu access. Now, in MIUI 13, one can easily access the power menu from the lock screen itself. They just need to press the right combination of buttons. Now, anyone without your password can basically power off the device, reboot it, send it into airplane mode, or do anything with it. But here on MIUI 14, you have the option of removing that access to the power menu from the lock screen itself. So here, if I've disabled it, nothing happens when I press and hold the power button, which is the way to access the power menu on this phone. Nothing happens when I do it. But if I were to enable it for a quick second, I get the access back. A great toggle that has been added with MIUI 14 update is the switch control center side. Now normally on MIUI 13, whenever you swipe over the status bar from the right side, it will show the control center. From the left side, it showed the notification chain, which was not interchangeable before. But now with this little toggle, we can basically switch the sides for the notification chain and the control center. Now, another setting that has seen some changes where sound and vibration on MIUI 13 has been changed to sound and touch on MIUI 14. Here, everything was available under one page under the long list, but here things are divided into two different tabs. And the best part here is that if I were to just go to the touch tab, here we have a video which will show the capabilities of the haptic engine or the haptic motor inside the 12 pro or whichever phone that you're using MIUI 14 on. So if I were to play this, basically every little sound effect has a vibration going with it. Plus all of the different haptic feedback settings can be controlled from this page. Plus if you want to see where you will see the haptic feedback on the phone itself, here are a few demos which will show what kind of haptic feedback you would get whenever you do a particular thing like basically touch and hold on an icon on the home screen or increase or decrease the brightness of the phone increase or decrease the volume of the phone or just scroll through the menu now skipping over to the battery settings now we have a new toggle which is the battery saver suggestions and warnings this enables the phone to show you different suggestions to save your battery life or prolong your battery life throughout the day in order to make your phone last through the day, which can be handy for the people who are using a smartphone for the first time or just are not familiar with the workings of a smartphone. Next up, if you go to additional settings, now you will see that the special features settings page has been merged into, merged into additional settings only. If you go to the gesture shortcuts, the first thing that has been enabled is you can adjust brightness of the phone by using a knuckle and then just wiping over the display which the display is able to detect if a phone is being touched with the knuckle itself rather than the finger for some reason it does not still work right now so it's already disabled plus you can also enable a gesture where if i were to draw a v with the knuckle it will give me access to launch the calculator or the camera or turn on the torch. It's iffy, it does not work that well, but like, yeah, you get the point. You basically can do this. Another thing that has been enabled with MIUI 14 is a back tap feature, where if I were to just tap the back of the phone, which could be a double tap or a triple tap, both of these different gestures can launch the camera, turn off the screen or take, or just open the calculator. Or just do nothing and well that's pretty much it if you like the video like it if you love the video then press the subscribe button and follow by that you'll get a bell icon press that you'll get notifications for all our videos from now on this has been Gorang, and i'll see you in the next one